thought I'd do a quick garden video before I uh, do some other stuff. I call that broccoli, so we're gonna have to go. I'm going to flower now. I might let some of it. I think I said this. I'm gonna let some of it go to seed, I think, and then sow the seeds. These are the plants that I didn't think would come to anything. And I haven't really done anything with. Look at this one, it's going straight to flower. Going straight to flower. It's not um it's not producing any actual like bits of this. And then look at my parsley. This one's looking good. Look at all that. Nice. Forget me not. Not sure what I'm gonna do with those. Now I'm not sure what all these little ones are. They're either things I don't want or they're things I do want. So we'll see. And then strawberry plants. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me outside now. So I'm going to pause here so I can shut my tunnel up. Stop it. There we go. So I've sorted that bit out. Sorted that bit out. It's going to be pretty little. I've been I've been moving foxgloves from other places and planting them. So hopefully that should be quite pretty. Pruned this back a bit. Hopefully that'll be quite a pretty little bed there as well. Pruned my lavender yesterday. So this is my thornless berry bush, which I wasn't going to keep. I cut it back a couple of years back, but it came back. So I'm hoping that this frame will become um, a tunnel of thornless berries. Look, this is all the junk that I keep pulling out of the earth. Look at that. Lots of little bits of plastic and styrene and loads of little bits of glass, little, little chunks. So I keep pulling them out, collecting them. And then this bed's been done, it's really coming on now. I mean, the plants are starting to wake up and grow. These have really grown since I moved them. And these little purple plants I moved from that bed there. Um, at some point I'm gonna clear this bed. I was going to move those foxgloves, but I might just leave them there now, we'll see. So my rhubarb's gone a bit crazy, look at the size of that, huge. And then there's this one. And this, this elder's going to have to be moved from here, I knew it would, it's in a pot. So that, that needs to be moved, I'll probably put it in the ground out the front. And then the one I've got in my kitchen, I'll probably pop in here into this pot for a while. So that little bed's taken off, so I'm going to have some flowers in it. So yeah, I'll clear this and I might try and make it into a spud patch again. You can see I straightened the board up, I need to fill it in a bit there. So I've got loads of stuff right under there. I should say composting, shouldn't I, not rotting. But I think there's, there are probably quite a lot of um, slow worms under there, just as there are in the other corner. So. Let's put this back up in the tree, shall we? For the birds. I think um, I really, I really need some new wood chips. But I'm a bit of an issue getting them, and I've stopped putting. I've stopped for refilling the seed feeders. Bear with me. My speech may not be great. I'm a bit muddled today because I've had to stop my epilepsy medication. Um. I had to stop that yesterday and so I had quite a lot of seizures today so that kind of shows up in my speech but I'm going to be starting a new two new epilepsy meds tonight so yeah I've stopped I've taken these down because can you see they're growing so that I need a different seed I might end up just using sunflower seeds because I've got loads of stuff growing from the seed I was feeding the birds and I don't want that. This whole place used to be just lawn, so the last thing I want is grass growing back again. I hope you can hear all this, but look, starting to flower, which is really nice. They'll be so beautiful. As you can see, you see, loads of things growing. I don't want that. See, I don't want that. My nails have started growing as well, which is a bit annoying because then I come out in the garden and uh, I get mud under my nails and 
nobody wants that, do they? Well, I don't know, there may be a few odd people out there who like mud under the nails for various reasons. I'm not one of them. But look, can you see all of that growing in there? Growing all over the paths. So, stop, stop, stop with those seeds. Ooh. So, I just turned these wood chips over the other day. And then, did that. And then yesterday I came out and I hurt myself. I shouldn't have done anything. But I came out by... Uh, my willow tree is dying. I have a feeling I know why. Part of me wants to dig it up. See, so look at it. I might dig around the one side and put some more soil in there. I might just let it die. Who knows? So I cleared these paths up yesterday. Put a load more soil there. And then we did here. And then I moved this out a little bit. Because the path was going down there like that. So I dug up a couple of daffodil bulbs. Daffodil bulbs. Moved them. And then move the path to here a little bit, so that that bed's a tiny bit wider. Instead of going up there, goes around there. And um, I haven't done much in this bed. I thought I, I had all my lemon balm bushes dug up, apart from one. One escaped. This one got away, which I'm kind, kind of glad of now. I think I'm probably going to leave it. We slice that plastic back because I thought that it was lemon balm that I had this plant that's springing up everywhere and becoming kind of invasive. And I thought it was lemon balm, so I'm like, oh, these lemon balm bushes have to go. It wasn't lemon balm at all, actually. It was doing it. I don't know why I'm sniffing it, but it wasn't lemon balm. It was something that looks like lemon balm. Uh, in terms of its leaf looks like lemon balm and I used to know the name of it but um, sadly epilepsy has taken that away from me that's a bucket of weeds that I pulled up and dug up yesterday so yeah it'd be nice once I've got more wood chips down go, go around there, down there up there, around there down there originally I was going to have a bed that went across here but I might leave it as a path and this bed, I cleared loads of ivy off the wall. I've got myself a little saw to saw through this, hopefully kill it off. Um, this bed's going to be quite pretty. It's got loads of daisies in it at the moment. And what I might do, it's got some foxgloves, but you see these are the big oxide daisies. What I might do is actually dig some of them up and move them around the garden too, and then put tomatoes in this bed so I might empty this bed of all these flowers and then when the weather isn't so rubbish I'm gonna go along the wall put in more see these little screws I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna put more of these screws up so that the uh, honeysuckle can keep going along the wall it's gonna be quite pretty oh, it's good oh, it's tiny Oh, you see it.